Hi there, this is a very quick demo of the Ingress geospatial data type called point. Point would be used for keeping track of coordinates commonly on the surface of the earth, although it could be on the surface of a circuit board, location within a warehouse, location on another planet, or any situation where you're keeping track of relative location, say the X and Y Cartesian coordinate uh, dimensions. The first thing I'm going to do is create a table I'm going to create a table to keep track of houses, just being house being uh, a point on a map. And I'm going to give myself a name column, which is going to have 30 characters, and a location column, which is a point. There we go. And so now I'm going to insert some data into this table. going to make up some coordinates for my house. Now I have to use a function called point from text. The reason why is that uh, I'm going to enter the data in the well-known text format. This is one of the industry standard formats. The back end ingress stores it as well-known binary. So I want to convert it from text to binary. Um, and the way I do that is by using the point from text function. We, the reason why we use well-known binary uh, on the back end is that many applications want well-known binary. Therefore, by storing data as well-known binary, we avoid having to convert it on the way out, which is a slight performance boost. There we go. So I've inserted one row into this table. I'm going to insert one more. I'll make fun of Chuck this time. He'll appreciate that. Of course, Chuck lives nearby, so put him just down the street. There we go. Now I'm just going to do a quick select from the table. Now because I have the data in well-known binary within the table, I'm going to use the as text function to retrieve it and format it in a human readable format, the well-known binary. Oops, from houses. There you go. So you can see we have two rows in this table one row denoting where Anders' house is at 0.27, and one row denoting where Chuck's house is nearby at 0.26. I'm going to show you one more thing, which is something somewhat useful. And calculate the distance between each of these houses and another point. I'm going to keep this simple. I'll keep it on the same plane. Oops, right bracket here. And there we go. So that was a very simple example. The reason why I did such a simple example is you can quickly calculate it in your head that um, in fact it is the case that uh, Andrew is house is one unit away from the point that I asked, the point 28, and Chuck's house at 26 is two units away. Uh, these units could be longitude, latitude, meters, uh, whatever units he happened to be using. So.